I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's what stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is very serious. The title is A Heavy Hand. And that is because there are six planets out of the ten right now that are harshly squaring each other. Two of them are in Aries, Mars and Uranus, and Mars is the ruler of Aries, so it's very strong. And those two planets that represent new beginnings are coming up against a, a harsh square from four planets in Capricorn. Oh boy, that's a lot. And so there is Saturn in Capricorn, which is the ruler of the sign, and then also Mercury, the planet of communication, Pluto, and the Sun is in Capricorn right now. And so there can be some people who may be rather eager enemies that could move swiftly right now in order to get a new beginning underway. And yet, there's going to be a heavy hand, perhaps, trying to slow them down. And we'll have to see if that's necessary or not, because it, what it's going to do is it's, it's going to set up a clash or some sort of deadlock right now. Because on the, since Mars is the ruler of Aries and Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn, and there are actually more planets, twice as many planets, four of them in Capricorn as there are in Aries, it simply means that this clash or this deadlock can provide a, a real tension and pressure not right now between people who want to start something new who have no experience. In other words, you know, they, they may know a little bit about a lot of things, but they don't really have a very good track record to support their eagerness at getting a new beginning underway. And they are coming up in a clash or a deadlock with other people who represent staunch supporters of traditional values. That's the four planets in Capricorn. And so with a united front of very strong supporters for traditional values, and these people would be people with a lot of experience, it simply means that sooner or later there is going to be this clash or deadlock. And we'll have to see how that plays out. In fact, where could that really lead? Well, it is simply that there are people that are going to take a lot of, they're going to need to do, um, okay, where will all that lead? There are people that are going to have a lot of maturity, a lot of experience, they'll have good communication skills, and they will have expert knowledge. So it might be a group of people that have all of that. And they are going to be able to exert a heavy hand of guidance and leadership and authority. And that is really going to have a rather steadying effect on things. So it's a little bit like the captain of a ship who is trying to navigate through a treacherous storm in order to find a calm harbor to protect his precious cargo. It's a little bit like that right now. Because actually, that Mars and Uranus in Aries, which are really sort of coming up a, against a unified front of staunch supporters, that Mars and Uranus are actually trining two wonderful planets right now, Venus and Jupiter, which are closely conjuncting each other in Sagittarius. And those four planets in a fire sign are also trining the sign of Leo. And so it can be that people who want to just press on or maybe, you know, move very, very swiftly regarding a new beginning can have the support of other people with good intentions. That would be the Venus and Jupiter in Sagittarius trining the planets in Aries. Or it can be that there are people around that want to sort of stir things up and get some sort of new beginning underway because it could put them in the spotlight. And they wouldn't mind taking a gamble or taking a risk as long as they were in the spotlight and, you know, they were sort of enjoying the glory of all that, even if they didn't have any experience. So 
even though these good aspects are occurring among fire signs, which do like a action, still, I think that a new beginning really hits a brick wall right now because it does not look promising for the future. In other words, it may not, it may not be getting off the ground the right way. It may not have enough people with experience to make it successful. It may um, not meet the requirements of people who are able to exert guidance and leadership and authority right now, the ones who do have experience. So that's why I think it's gonna hit a brick wall and why it does not look promising in the future. And that is because respect and trust are never out of date, they're never out of style. And it is a, people with a lot of experience who are trusted and are respected and have a good track record that can uphold the law right now and they can provide stability. Just like that captain that's looking for a calm harbor to protect his precious cargo. If they can provide stability and a whole lot of experience, then that is probably that heavy hand that will keep things steady right now. And so that's where we are, in some sort of deadlock, or there can be a clash, and it could occur in your life uh, in different circumstances, but I think that the heavy hand of experience and honor and trust are probably going to hold fast right now. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, this is a time when I think you can be really all revved up to go and do something your way. And I think that, you know, you, you are determined to do that. After all, your ruler Mars is in your sign and it's joining Uranus. These two planets are called malefic planets because they can get you in a little bit of trouble. And that could happen to you, Aries, because if you move a little bit too fast right now, or you're volatile or unpredictable, or you sort of go off on some sort of a tangent, you could succeed uh, for a while, particularly if there are people with good intentions backing you up or people that want to just in, come along for the ride and enjoy a gamble or a risk. But you know there are consequences for actions and the problem is is that those two planets in your sign are really probably going to hit a brick wall or you may if you move too quickly in a new beginning or I think it's, it's if, if you want everything your own way you probably are going to hit a brick wall right now of a united front of people who have a lot of experience and so they are not willing to go along with some idea that is not a proven entity. And so you could want something, but unless you can prove that you've already been successful at it, you may hit a brick wall. And that may not, that, that may not be a bad thing because you know, sometimes if people move too fast, Aries, they can make costly mistakes. And you wouldn't want to have to pay for any mistakes right now. So it might not be a bad idea if you try to slow down a little bit. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, I think that in the background of your life, there is somebody who wants to make a new beginning and that can be causing you some, some sort of uh, problem right now. It could even be making you a little bit angry or if you are deciding you want to make a new beginning, I caution you, Taurus, this is not the right time to do that because you have far more to gain by staying where you are. And the reason why is that Mars and Uranus and Aries are right behind your sun sign stirring things up. And that means in the background of your right life, there is some sort of trouble or something that is not right or bothering you. And yet those four planets in Capricorn Saturn, Mercury, Pluto, and the Sun are all trining your Sun sign, Taurus. You have so much more to gain if you stay the course. If you don't go off in any new direction, and if somebody else wants to, just wave goodbye and let them, Taurus, because you really need to stick to what you're good at and what you have been successful at in the past. So I, I urge you to stay where you are or if you have been building up credit through a long association or activity that you've participated in for a long time, stick to that, Taurus, because your world will open up, but in a positive way that can help you in the long run. That's why you need to stay the course right now. Okay, what does it mean to a um, Gemini? 
Well, Gemini, today the moon is in your sign, and that simply means that there can be a lot of light on you, Gemini, which is great. And so I think, oddly enough, that since Uranus and Mars and Aries are actually sextiling your sun, I think that if there is a new beginning that does not look promising in the long run or runs up against a brick wall in a way that is going to be uh, to your advantage, Gemini. And so if people sort of want to erupt right now, or if they want to move very swiftly in an aggressive way, or they want to participate in a clash or a dead a lock um, of some sort, that the outcome of it may benefit you in one way or another. I know those things don't sound pleasant, and I don't think that you're necessarily participating in them, but it, it, with that unpleasantness going on, you might look a lot better or your ideas could perhaps be more acceptable. So that's good for you, Gemini. And so if I were you, I wouldn't be too upset by the things that are going on around you and I wouldn't participate or comment about them in any way. Let them play out, Gemini. It looks as if a deadlock is gonna be broken one way or another, but I think that it would be better if you were not part of it. Just let it go and uh, ride it out because this, the moon is in your sign. You're looking pretty good right now. I hope that you stay that way. Just enjoy it. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, yours is a cardinal sign, and there are now six planets in cardinal signs, all in harsh aspect to your sun sign, Cancer. So you really are going to be uh, feeling that as if things are just not right right now. And that's because Mars and Uranus and Aries are squaring your sun. So some new beginning or some aggressive person who wants to do things all their own way can be bothering you. I don't know if you're actually saying anything about it, but it is bothering you or their actions are bothering you. And then that heavy hand that is represented by Saturn, Mercury, Pluto, and the sun now in Capricorn are all opposing your sun sign. You are actually going to have to go along with um, a heavy hand of people who have a lot of experience making their opinions known to you. And I think they're gonna win out. And that is because they are a a strong group of people that believe in traditional values. And they're, they're united. And so there are different reasons why you can be a little unhappy with the status quo right now, Cancer. And I don't see you being able to change that. And so I think one thing that you could do, Cancer, is that if you have a feeling that something is going to fail, because it's a new beginning that does not look promising in the long run or that hits a brick wall. If I were you, I would just be as quiet as possible and after it fails, at least you would not be one of those people that says, I told you so. I don't think that would put you in a favorable light. I think instead, if you have a real doubt about something, you should be as quiet as you can, even though it's bothering you, keep it to yourself, Cancer because that way you, you're not gonna be one of these I told you so people that, that can cause resentment. Just be quiet now if you can, even though it bothers you. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, you can certainly benefit from the fact that there are four planets trining your sun sign. Uranus and Mars and Aries, which depict people that just wanna get going and do things their way, and Venus and Jupiter in Sagittarius, are all trining your sun sign. So if you're in the mood for a gamble or to take a risk, you could go with the people that want to just push forward and do things their way. Maybe that's enticing to you. But I urge you not to do that, mainly because a new beginning is not aspected for success right now, simply because there is a heavy hand of experienced, knowledgeable people that are saying, wait a minute, this isn't working but we know what can work because it's worked in the past and they, I think, are going to win out right now. Instead, Leo, I th hope that you go with the favorable influence of Venus and Jupiter in Sagittarius trining your sun, which means that events or news at a distance can be quite favorable right now. 
and that could make you happy, Leo. And also travel is well aspected and so is some sort of educational course or just a group that you are joining. All of that could work out really well. So either you can uh, join a group that is uh, very dedicated to what they want, but they don't have any experience behind them, or you could go for something that is a little bit uh, higher minded or that involves travel or something that would please you instead. I'd go that route, Leo. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when there's absolutely no question that you are going to agree with whoever has a heavy hand. And I don't think this is one person. I think this is a group of people with maturity, experience, good communication skills, and um, expert knowledge that are going to exert a heavy hand of guidance and leadership and authority right now. I mean, I, mean, I think they feel they have to. It could be because they're under attack. And so I think that you're gonna be in complete agreement with them, Virgo, because the four planets in Capricorn all trine your sun sign. And you are a person that likes to be able to trust things. Your sign rules facts and details and analysis and problem solving and accountability. And so you always want to be with people who have a good track record and know what they're doing. And that's the kind of person you like to be as well. So I don't think that you are going to side with anybody that just wants to have their own way because that's what they want to do or with others who want to gamble or take a risk. Instead, I think you're going to stick to the tried and true, to the people that really do know what they're doing because they have a track record of success at it. And I think that you should stick to that because that will really enhance your long-term value and perhaps your career, Virgo. So be, be discriminating in your choices right now. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time, since yours is a cardinal sign, when you really will have to say goodbye to somebody or something. And that's because it, I think either you can't take them anymore or somebody else can't. And the reason why you, you need to say goodbye it is also for your own peace of mind. And that's because Mars and Uranus in Aries depict people who want it have something, we want to get something new underway and they want to do it their way regardless of a lack of experience and that those two planets are opposing your sun sign. So there is somebody in your life Libra that is, um, they're not a little bit cuckoo but they, um, they're just hard to take and also uh, they're too demanding and they don't have much to show for their efforts, okay? In other words they can talk a good line but they have no good results to back it up. You need to say goodbye to somebody like that because they also could be very unstable. Uranus is at that fateful 29th degree of Aries. And so let somebody go right now, uh, Libra. It, it will really relieve you and give you peace of mind. But you will have to adhere to the strong values, traditional values of a large corporation or a government agency which knows its rules and regulations and is going to stick to them because it has always worked in the past. You, so you're gonna to have to follow along with something that is bigger and stronger and more experienced than you are, Libra. But that's all right because, you know, maybe you could learn something from all that. It's just you need to say goodbye to somebody who's causing a lot of problems in your life. You don't need that anymore. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Scorpio, <clears throat> there are actually no planets in any of the fixed signs right now. There's nothing in Taurus, Leo, your sign, or Aquarius. And so that simply means that there's nothing really coming at you right now or challenging you in a really harsh way, which is good. But at the same time, there is a harsh square of six planets in cardinal signs, and it represents uh, two different ways of looking at things that are radically different and can provoke a deadlock or some sort of clash right now. You need to stay out of that, Scorpio. For one thing, it isn't you that they are attacking. 
And for that reason, I don't think you should take sides in anything right now. I think that would even be dangerous for you. And the reason why is that your rulers, Mars in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn are squaring each other. And that means that you could be under attack yourself or you could be threatened with something that is a little bit dangerous right now. And that's why I think that since nothing really big is coming right at you, I think that this is a time when you should withdraw and uh, let the deadlock or the clash work itself out without input from you, Scorpio, if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a wonderful time for you, Sagittarius, because the two best planets in the heavens are conjuncting in your sign, Venus and Jupiter. Are you thinking of getting married, Sagittarius? Well, this is the time to do that, or at least propose. Or it can be that you can be about to form a very good partnership, an excellent one, and one that may not come again. So you should tr do that as well. Or it can be that you are thinking of traveling or getting a better education or just learning new things or following a path that upholds your traditional values, whether they're your philosophy or your religion or whatever. This is the time when you can be seen at your best particularly if you do not participate in a deadlock or clash that could be going on. Even though you have very good intentions right now, there's nothing wrong with your intentions. It's just that I think you should not get involved in any kind of controversy right now because you are being seen in such a good light. But you don't have to go and save the whole world right now, Sagittarius. This is a really wonderful time for you to concentrate on what you what or who you really love and do something about it. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, you know, you could be under a lot of pressure right now, and yet I don't think you're moving an inch, Capricorn. I don't think you're going to change your values. You're pretty set on them. You have a lot of experience. You know what you're doing. And I think that it is always your preference to be, to go a little bit more slowly and be very thorough and not skip steps. And if something isn't going your way right now, I think you're going to continue to persevere because it is your nature. However, the pressure can be coming because Mars in Aries and Uranus in Aries are squaring the four planets in your sign. But it's two against four. You're still gonna win, uh, Capricorn. It isn't necessarily that you are going to like a situation that you're in right now, but I don't think you're going to lose anything by it either. So I would say stick to what you do well and how you do it and don't deviate from that and do persevere because somebody who wants to make a new beginning is going to hit a brick wall and that is because they have they don't have enough experience to, to get something to work right. They don't have a track record, and you do. So stick to it. And then I think that that will actually make you feel more fulfilled and happier. And so it might be that you're the one that wants to seek a calm harbor to, in order to protect your precious cargo. And that cargo could be your, your strong sense of purpose and your traditional values, and they do need to be upheld. So I think that you're rather reunited right now, and nothing is really gonna pierce that. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a time when you can sort of benefit from the fact that the moon is in Gemini trining your sun. It's also trining the Libra sun, which is good. So the benefit could come from taking a short trip or doing something on a part-time or temporary basis. It doesn't have to be forever. Yours is a fixed sign and there are no planets in any of the fixed signs right now. There's nothing really uh, harshly challenging you in any way, Aquarius, and the moon is trining your sun. So if you want to take a short trip, if you want to take a short course to learn something, then I advise you to do it because it would sort of broaden your outlook, which is a good idea, and it could sort of open a new door to your future, and your sign rules the future. So I hope you go for something. It could even be in your own backyard, or it could be a good tip that you get from people that are just your pals or your buddies, but you really ought to follow up on that right now because it could lead to something better for you. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time 
when I think that <clears throat> you can actually sort of walk in to a lot of trouble right now, particularly if you move too fast, and the reason why is that Mars and Uranus and Aries are right ahead of your sun sign. And they are coming up against a brick wall right now, but their determination in the sign of new beginnings means that there can be a new beginning that you are associated with in one way or another, Pisces, that may not have a bright future to it. In other words, if it hits a brick wall or meets a lot of resistance, then it may not succeed in the end. And if, if you sort of step in and embrace whatever somebody else is insisting on doing their way, you could lose a little bit from that, Pisces. You could lose a little support of your own. And that is why I caution you to step back. And if there is a deadlock, deadlock or an impasse or some sort of clash going on between the people who want it say my way and the other people who have a great deal of experience and are are going to uphold it right now then I think you should let that play out and not take sides because you have a little bit to lose if you if you take the wrong side right now so I hope that you are very objective and cautious instead okay thanks so much for tuning in remember you can see the show read our blog and hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.